This time on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, a restaurant whose name also describes its menu. It's all good. It's all good. It is all good at Saul Good. Saul Good Restaurant and Pub. It's one of Lexington's most eclectic and tasty places to eat out. We both think it's a great food. We've been here many yeah. times. The menu here at Saul Good is completely eclectic with the you know flavors of the world. Saul Good. And it's even better when you get to learn the chef's secrets to making the same food at home. Like this, Saul Good's famous Southwestern cheese dip. We make probably 60 pounds a week of it. Oh, that's like, hey, that's a lot of dip, chef. It's quite <laughs> a bit, yeah. And check this out. And then we have our tzatziki. Wild Alaskan salmon served with dueling pestos and a taste of the Greek islands. The whole basis of our concept is food from all over the world. It's all good. We'll show you the secrets to Saul Good salmon, plus the perfect pizza made with peaches. I love it. It's all good right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Hey everyone, Tim Laird with the Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Today we're near the Fayette Mall and the name of this place says it all. <laughs> it's all good. It's yeah. all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> restaurant and Pub burst onto the Lexington restaurant scene in 2008. And it's been taking taste buds on a tour of the globe ever since. The menu here at Saul Good is completely eclectic with the you know, flavors of the world. There's something for every appetite. We range in between gourmet hamburgers. That bacon and cheese burger. It's really good. Hand toss pizzas. The Parisian pizza. It's all veggie pizza. A pizza for all seasons, it's all good. Then we have uh, a wonderful chocolate bar. The chocolate bar is a never-ending well of creativity. They even put chocolate on pizza. It's in our chocolate bar, every night we feature our chocolate pizza which is our traditional pizza dough stretched with three types of chocolate, white, milk, and dark. It's got peanuts, peanut sauce, and then we finish it with fresh sliced strawberries. Oh, wow. Speaking of things that are oozing with goodness, you can't top Saul Good's Southwestern cheese dip. It's really good. And right now, Chef Jeff Mayer is revealing the secrets to making it yourself. We start with about a pound and a half of regular cream cheese. We're going to go into our KitchenAid mixer. Do a little uh, creaming there. To this, we're going to add one seeded jalapeno, fresh. We're just going to pop that in and let that kind of mash up. That looks good and fresh. I mean, it's bright green. Get it good and spicy. The two spices we're going to add are a mesquite seasoning. It's available anywhere. It's got a little bit of smoke, some garlic, some chili powder, Smoked some spoon. paprika, and it's like about that. a tablespoon of that. And then here we have some regular uh, chili powder that we put in a skillet and toast it a little bit to help bring out some of those essential oils. So you toast it here? Yeah, oh, we did it right here. I'll Excellent. show you just the quick action of it. Yeah. It, it ignites pretty quickly. It's okay. a great way to freshen up some of your spices as well. A great secret to spicing up your uh, spices. Slow that down so we don't wear it. We're going to add that. That's about a tablespoon and a half. You know, I can, I'll tell you what, I can just smell all that uh, yeah. toasting going on, it's just wonderful. Next, we're gonna add some fresh chopped scallions and some fresh cilantro that's been chopped. At this point, you're seeing some of the uh, southwestern spices coming in, scallion, cilantro, chili, a little bit of smoke. We're gonna do something culinary here. We're gonna give it a nice four-finger pinch. That's approximately a half of one fresh bunch of cilantro that you get at the grocery store. I like that. Okay. So a four-finger four pinch. four-finger pinch. Yeah. And as you can see, it's starting to get that beautiful I like orange color. color. Next is our corn. We use a white shoe peg corn here, and we smoke it right here. It's a hot smoke where you put chips in a pan, cover it, and let it smoke for about 10 minutes. Okay. You could do it on your barbecue pit at home, or you could just omit the smoke and kick up your mesquite spice a little. More of the mesquite smoke spice, yeah. I like. Okay. And, and to this mix, we're going to add about a cup 
of smoked shoe peg corn. You could use yellow, you could use multi, you could use fresh off the cob. We're gonna give it one quick spin. Wow, take a look at the color. That is unbelievable, I love that. And then we serve it in one of our bowls. We give it a light heat in the microwave. But it's, it's delicious just like that. And here we have our southwestern dip with blue corn tortilla chips. We've garnished it with a little bit of green onions and some fresh cilantro. Want to give it a whirl? Oh, absolutely, chef. I've got to give this a try. This All looks right. great. There Fantastic. You Thank My you. My pleasure. Enjoy it. Mmm. Man. That smokiness comes out, too. And I love the, the sweet, the savory. And I'll tell you what, the toasting of the uh, chili and the spices come yeah. out. I mean, it really is nice, but not too smoky. It has a nice consistency to it and a really nice balance. Thank you very much. Excellent, Chef. Good job. And the kitchen isn't the only place that's full of interesting new flavors. I work my way back behind the bar here at Saul Good, and the cocktails are as colorful as the food. Rob, tell me about all these wonderful cocktails we have here. Uh, we have a uh, pixie stick martini, and it's uh, with fin Finlandia vodka and uh, grape pucker. I love the blood orange garnish on this one. Yeah, it's a blood orange whiskey sour made with uh, Woodford Reserve and blood orange juice. Wow. And now this one, here is a reddish pink beer as well. Yeah, it's uh, Magic Hat Summer Ale, and it's a wacko, and it's made with beet extract. And it's a really nice ale with a really great hoppy finish. I also learned that you have, what, 16 different beers on tap? Yep, we have 16 different draft beers from around the world. And each one of them has a separate glass. Yeah, the brewery design, each brewery designs a, a glass to, to best show off the characteristics of each of the beer. That's a lot of glassware, but a lot of great attention to detail. Rob, thanks for letting us in and seeing some of the secrets to uh, Saw Good. We sure appreciate coming out today. It's our pleasure. Great. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Rob. Next, we'll fire up the hearth oven at Saw Good. Saw Good. And wait until you see what comes out of it. It's really good. Saw Good. More secrets from Saw Good when Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs returns.